<laughs> Come on, load. <laughs> Happy New Year, Mr. Micah. <sighs> Holy cow, it's Mr. Micah. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Train Sim World. Uh, I haven't played this game in a long time. I do love it. Uh, it is one of my favorites. Hang on, refresh. Lost connection. <laughs> Alright, we want to go to the Somerset Railway first. Didn't have enough black eyed peas, huh? Scenarios. There we go. Let's go land cruise. Here we go. This will take us about 75 minutes. It'll be our stream for the night. Um, we'll just do some world hopping. Adam West Batman. Oh. <laughs> bin Pin. Terrible. You guys seeing the stream okay? Everybody in? We're good? I see zero viewers, so I'm hoping people have come back in, but I might be talking to myself. That's okay. We are on a land cruise. We're going to commence boarding operations for the final run of the day. Climb aboard, sit in the driver's seat. This is what? England looks like. I mean, it the hills, the like back there, all this the how the row houses, all the houses are shared houses like that. Everywhere you go, it's like that. Uh, not I don't I haven't seen any houses like this, but apartments. I mean, it's just it's very much what this looks like. Um, this is southern England, I believe. It's the East Somerset Railway. We're going to turn that off. Let's see here. <laughs> he said, sorry, I realized I was that old. <laughs> Guitar stand strap amplifier. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Biff, baff, boom. All right, we need to set our master key to on. I'll be a minute. Set the reverser and the headlights. There's our headlights. We're going to put the reverser into forward. All right. Gosh, it's good to see you, Mr. Micah. We're going to have to do some... Uh, Mr. When the Valley of the Old Farm comes out, Mr. Micah, we got to do a farm. Or something. I don't know. We'll see. Or continue our, our Estancia La Pacha farm. All right. Oh, we need to have the brakes in application. That's right. I'm ready to take off here, and I don't have any passengers. Tab... Unlock. Let's see. The platform's on the right, so we're going to unlock the right one. Uh, I've only done a couple videos of this game on YouTube, um, but occasionally I put a video up. Like, this will go up on YouTube for sure. Uh, it's a great game. Uh, there's a couple. Like, I mostly they're the, the CSX ones. So, we're loading passengers. Um, cool, Steve. Well, I'll check it out. I figured this would be a nice uh, nice mission. It's a sunset uh, trip. Got a vintage uh, British diesel engine along with uh, the old-fashioned carriages. Not a lot of their trains look like this anymore. Mostly they're powered like rail cars. These are more vintage. But this is just... I love the scenery in this one. Trying to stay warmal. <laughs> Clock right. There we go. All right. And we're going to take the brakes off. Overcharge release. Yeah, we'll do it some more, Big Ron, for sure. I miss Mr. Micah. Uh, Moni and I were talking about it. She's like, you should play with Mr. Micah. You never play with him anymore. And I'm like, 
I know we've just been so busy. But uh, yeah, she was in, she was like, you need to you need to play with Mr. Micah more because he's your good friend. And I'm like, I know. I'm sorry, Mr. Micah. I've been a bad friend. Things have been admittedly a little crazy this year. Uh, now things that are starting to settle down. I uh, should have more time to do that kind of stuff. So there we go. We've left Minehead with our passenger train. The only thing that I have a hard time with train sim is gauging how much brake I need to add. A lot of times I'll put too much brake on and I'll end up stopping before the platform and then having to slowly creep in. So, um... Now, I don't know if Moni is going to stream later on tonight or not. Um, I might continue to stream until she wakes up. She f took a nap. I tried vigorously to get her up, but she will not wake up. <laughs> so uh, I was like, okay, well, I'll just let you sleep then, I guess. And You know, I might take a break here. If, if she, if I'm going to probably stop. In an hour, I'll stop. And if if she's not up, I might go for another hour playing on a different map on Train Sim World. Um, maybe we'll do some CSX stuff. The one thing I got to say is, um, yeah, it's better than overshooting the ramp, right? Uh, the one thing I will say is that um, this game runs really, really smoothly on this laptop, and I never had it run this smooth, even with my. Um oh, that's cool, Mr. Michael. That'd be awesome. Um, with my uh, 1070 and 770K processor, Train Sim World never looked this good on my computer at home. It looks really good on this laptop. Uh, so for whatever reason, my laptop really gets along. Like Star Citizen, it really gets along with this game. It's just so silky smooth, and I didn't have that on my computer at home. So that's a sign that I do need to upgrade my computer this year uh, once all the f expenses are done with. Uh, it's just it's so expensive. Like, you know, doing a video card is like, you know, it's ridiculous. 500 bucks, you know, to get any kind of performance, you got to spend about 500. We looked at the 2070 Super is a about a 45% performance increase over my card, over my current 1070. Um, so, is my speed up? There we go. We passed the 10 mile an hour restriction there, so I'm going to pop the throttle up and off we go. I like the Somerset uh, because although it's a passenger service, it's a little bit slower paced. Uh, I don't do well with these, like, slam on the gas, slam on the brake uh, passenger services. This one's more of a countryside type passenger service, and the top speeds are pretty low. Like, you don't really ever get above 30 miles an hour. So. Wait, wait, no, this. I want a better camera. Weird. I'm not driving over the speed limit. Why did it say driving over the speed limit? No bullet trains for me, right? That's those are the ones I'll miss the station, right? Come on, a little more speed. British engines are so weird looking. Now another thing that they added to the game that I like, and I'm I'm very happy that they finally added this. There's cabin motion now. You can see the cabin is kind of bopping around a little bit on the tracks. When this first came out, there was absolutely no cabin motion, and so now there's a little bit more of a realistic feel because the trains actually undulate over the tracks. Um, there you go, Big Ron. I, I wish they weren't so... You'd be better off buying a uh, desktop, to be honest with you. Laptops are just so expensive. To get a good late gaming laptop, they're expensive. Watch my speed here. Drop the throttle. And we've got a, I think that means stop ahead? I don't know. I don't know how to read the British signals, which is probably not a good thing <laughs> as I'm driving a British train through Great Britain, <laughs> an English train. Hopefully we won't crash. That signal meant stop. Oh, well. Oops. Oh, well. Let's see. Is it Z? Nope. I press the engine start. It's such a wimpy horn. You actually have to grab the horn to go. 
that's how they beat. They really don't beat very much now in in uh, in in England. They have the grade crossings are like seriously monitored. Uh, mostly they have bridges over the the, the main roads. So there are the main roads go over the trains. Um, so you don't run into a whole lot of grade crossings, but where they are, they have like shutters and gates and like sliding doors. I mean, it's like this huge complicated process to close and, and they shut them like 10 minutes before the train gets there. Um, they have like a really, ah, I wasn't paying attention. We should stop. We should stop. I was speeding though. That, there's a, that was a five mile an hour restriction right there. Oops. Okay, release, 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 release. No, 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 don't stop, don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. <laughs> Dang it, I did it again. <laughs> Shizzle sticks. Hello, people. The train has arrived. I mean, really, you're only supposed to be going five miles an hour through here, so I don't feel too bad. We need to stop at Dunster at 1722. I don't know. It's 172248. Shoot, we're late already. How? I, I can never run on time. I don't know how real train drivers do it, like how they stay on time. Because I'm always late. doesn't matter what I do, I'm always late. And I was, you know, I mean, I kept it pretty close to the speed limit the whole time. It seems to get to speed in order to stay on schedule. And that's not a good prerogative. This train wants to go 3.8 miles per hour. Oof. With a 20.50? Ouch. 2060. Okay, I was gonna say because that's about what ours cost. No, not emergency. Uh, they're gonna charge me for that. Dang it! You can't. Um, come on. There we go. Oh, the dog farted so hard. Oh God. You're perfect for Southern Rail, right? <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, doggies. Alfie, he's asleep under the desk. He farted hard, man. Railway Empire? Yeah, I mean, tra transport fever could be called that because it is a lot like, um, it's, it's a lot like, uh, um, Trainy. I mean, it's mostly trains. It has cars and airplanes, but the trains are, you know, at the beginning at least, the primary focus. I got to take this dog out. You guys are going to have to wait for just a minute. Hang on a second. I got to take the, the dog potty. So I will be right back. Sorry, guys. He's just, he's got to go. When the puppy's got to go, the puppy's got to go. All right. Back to the fun. Or is it? All right, here we go. So we've loaded the passengers. We need to lock the doors. I keep holding the tab key down, which is not how you're supposed to do it. Okay, so brakes off. Throttle on. Beep the horn for fun. And off we go. Slowly but surely, we are on our way to the next station. We probably won't make it on time, but... Now, one way you can tell if you're adding too much power, over there is that green and yellow gauge, all right? You want to keep the power band as you're accelerating to the top of that gauge, but you don't want to go into the yellow. If you're going to the yellow, it means that you're over something. You're giving it too much power. And then you'll notice it drops. As the train picks up speed, that amperage will drop. So you can notch it up a little bit more. But we're actually over. We're actually speeding right now, so we're going to stop. We have to get out of the station to go above 10 miles an hour. And uh, you'll see a little... We passed it already, but it'll. You have to get the whole train has to pass the restriction before you can continue on a higher speed. So we, as you can see there, we haven't passed the station yet. the The back of the train is still going through the station. So, 
What a gorgeous view, though. I mean, in the distance, stuff doesn't... It's funny, this game is one of those games, and I guess that's how a lot of games are for scaling. Um, it doesn't look super realistic far away, but close up, I mean, the details are just stunning. Like, out here, the... Like the grass and the bushes and stuff. It looks really good. It's like it's like the hunter, but for the train sim. How the train how the hunter looks really, really good. The hunter's such a great game. My goodness. Okay, noodle time, have a good dinner. Uh yeah, Ben Pin. So the twenty sixty RTX is the same thing that I have in this laptop. And it works well, especially for gaming. It's not so great for streaming, but I know you don't stream, so you'll be fine. Um I'm able to play Star Citizen just fine on it. Uh, I did have to turn the graphics to low, but I don't really care. It plays fine. It looks good. It still looks good on low. And uh, plays Train Sim fine. Farns, everything's fine. It plays all the games fine. I don't have any problems with any games with this laptop. I just have trouble streaming and recording. That's where the issues come in. So that's a little frustrating, but okay, now we're up to full speed, so we can we pass the station. Go ahead and crank that open. Once again, I'm watching that gauge to make sure I don't overcook it. Right about there. That'll, be, that'll build up enough speed to get us up to speed there. Ah, I made myself a cup of coffee while the dog was out doing nothing. He was out in the yard eating, picking up pieces of garbage. Uh, one of the things that'll change when we get to my house with these dogs, they have access to garbage. Uh, and the garbage service here in the UK is deplorable. They get their garbage picked up once every two weeks. And that is a bitter pill to swallow when you have five people, four people in a house and a bunch of dogs. Uh, it's just not enough. And so what happen, ends up happening is we get these giant piles of garbage in the backyard waiting for the garbage to come. And we're supposed to put them out just in a can, but we put them, we end up throwing the whole thing out in the back and setting it along the fence. Uh, even though you're not supposed to, because there's no, there's not enough room in a single garbage can, and that's all you're allowed. It's really dumb. Anyway, so the the garbage goes into the backyard, and then the dogs rip the bags up, and you know that's it ends up making a mess. At my house, the garbage cans go into the garage, and then they go out front. The dogs go in the backyard. <laughs> so. Garbage twice a week. Yeah, I know. We have garbage once a week where I live. But we're also allowed multiple cans, you know. Now, they do want us recycling, but nobody does. Uh, except for our one neighbor who is, like, really liberal. <laughs> they recycle. Too bad for them they don't understand that the garbage just all goes to the same place. They rip the bags open and throw them all in the same pile anyway. <laughs> it just makes them feel better about themselves. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that's what happens in Medina. We've, there's a big article in the paper about like recyclables and how they're making us go to recyclables and then they did investigations and found out that the recyclables actually aren't getting recycled they're just <laughs> getting put with the rest of the garbage it's like uh, why do we even bother but in bigger cities they do there uh, oh look hey there's the ocean so somerset goes along the coast i'm not sure what coastline this is uh it is a real route though like any routes in train sim these are all real places so This is probably maybe the Atlantic Ocean. I don't know. This could be between France and England, though, too. I don't know. But this is a real route in real life. You can pop some throttle back on again because we're, now we're declining. But this is a pretty little stretch, isn't it? And very much like all of England, this is what it looks like where, you know, Simone lives, too. Um, wait, what other game? Ah, she's watching. That means she's up. <laughs> you see that last text that says, I smell like butt? <laughs> I think she's logged in as me, and I think she means her. She smells like a butt. Or she's trying to be mean to me and make us look like I smell like a butt. So, Moni, tell me which it is. Are you Do, do you smell like a butt, or do I smell like a butt? I don't smell like anything. She's a butt. She's a cute butt. <laughs> Moni does have a cute little butt. She has like a little angel butt. <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, we're going to put this on to... Uh, we're slowing down. Hey, we're slowing down anyway. 
I haven't even applied the brake yet, but uh, I smell like a butt. Okay, there we go. I do not. I I bathed. You said cringe. <laughs> cringe. I have a floppy butt. <laughs> I do. I don't have a butt. My body just goes like straight down. <laughs> no, don't stop. <laughs> oh god, the train's going to stop by itself again. No. Bad train. I have had the kettle on, yes. It's It'll go real fast now because I just boiled water about two seconds ago. I beeped the horns of people at the station knew I was coming. Look out! He's here! Now, see, we could have gone faster into this station because it has a 10 mile an hour speed limit. Bizarre. Ladies! Okay, we're in blue anchor. Nope, don't stop. No one told you. No, my, I've got to keep the throttle on. This must be on an uphill. Uh, no, I'm driving. Yes, honey, if you come downstairs, I'll make you a coffee. And you didn't drink your slushy. I'm very upset with you. You let that slushy go to waste. The whole thing is like a half a cup of it's wasted because you didn't drink it, Goofy. Uh, the glasses are in the nightstand drawer um, next to the bed. Of course I'll make it for you, honey. Come on down. Well, that's good news. That means Simone is going to stream tonight. That's <laughs> I know. She let, she let the slushy down. All right, we're stopping right here. It did melt. I know. Oh, you like it melted. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh, you th <laughs> Unlock left this time. The platform's on the left. What do people want you to stream? I don't know. Welcome to Blue Anchor. Is that like the Blue Oyster Cult, but... An anchor instead. What time is it, by the way? 17? Hey, we made it on time! Look at that! I actually I actually made a station on time. Uh, miracles will never cease. <laughs> that never happens, really. That never happens. Now, is that signal red ahead, or is that... That's a green signal. Man, I love this game. I love this route. Binpin's plying the hunter. You can hunt with Bin Pin, honey. I'll go hunting with Bin Pin. Oh, that stinks, Red Alpha. I'm sorry. Bad meal, huh? Lock left. Here we go. Hunter. Everyone loves playing Hunter because it's multiplayer. You know why we kept stopping? I left the straight break on because I'm an idiot. Like, why do we... All right, here we go. Off we go. Have her stream GTA 5. <laughs> Transport Fever is another good one. Yeah, we haven't played that in a couple days. I love Transport Fever too. I'm really, really happy with that game. Uh, haven't done it much. I, I needed to actually need to make some episodes of Farm Manager and Farmer's Dynasty, hoping maybe to have some time tomorrow morning before the kids get up or before the kids get here. But oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Red Alpha. Yeah, I. I've had all kinds of stuff. Oh, thank you. Well, you're in a good mood. Uh, yeah, uh, so I'm going to... Let's see here. At the next stop, Moni, I'll make you some coffee. So you want to... And by the way, your glasses are... They're like in the dresser next to the bed. So I don't know if Moni has Farmer's Dynasty. Hey, welcome aboard. Catch Gaming, a.k.a. Matt. <laughs> Hi, Matt. We have a couple Matts on the channel that show up. Uh, welcome aboard. Literally. Toot toot. <laughs> uh, um, they should be... I mean, well, I put them in the drawer next to the bed. Oh, yeah, you see them? Okay. okay. Yeah. Of course you can't see them because you don't have them on. 
Uh, by the way, if you're new here, that is my wife. She's upstairs and can't find her glasses. <laughs> okay, full speed ahead. Full speed ahead. Uh-oh, you're in trouble, Moni. At least Jeff says so. He's got a bone to pick with ya. No bone picking. <laughs> yes, Jeffers. All right, we're gonna we're bucket as they say in Thomas the Tank Engine. We're bucketing along. This would be the kind of route that Thomas the Tank Engine is based upon. The Somerset Railway, and this we're pretty much, except for one little section of uh, oh no problem, uh, one little section of railway here. Uh, we are covering the same. Or pretty much the whole route. Um, and you can see here, there must be only one train that runs on this route because there are no, except for, well, I guess that's not true. At that last siding, there was, uh, or that last station, there was a siding. It had two tracks going through. So I wonder if the trains just have to wait at the, uh, the stations till they pass each other. That must be how they have it set up. Um, and they must not run very many trains. Now, once again, this looks like a little sideline type train line, so it's not a main line. But uh, it's just beautiful country. I like running this route because it's it's relaxing. Like I said, it's not a full speed route. Once again, the top speed usually is about 25 miles per hour. So it's just a little bit different from the other routes. Uh, once again, it's the Somerset route. Man, we're still losing speed. I've got all this throttle applied. And we must be going up a pretty steep hill. I got a plus 30 for driving under the speed limit. Doesn't do as much good for being late, though. Come on. Kick it up a notch. Oh, there's a great camera view. So cool, though. Really pump that throttle up, man. I don't know. <laughs> I've I've got no clue what kind of engine this is. Uh, let's take a look at it here. I, I think it's it's. I know. I don't know. I don't know British engine engine uh, classifications. I, I know American ones, but um, this would be. I think. I think this takes place in the 1970s. It's supposed to, or like early 1980s. So. I love the way it looks, though, and I love the colors. You know, green and yellow, that's just a classic color combination. Orange and blue, green and yellow, uh, blue and yellow, they're all good color combinations, and the British seem to do that very well, even nowadays with their trains. They, they always look good. <laughs> that's not the British way of thinking. <laughs> They don't really do lash-ups here. Um, it's pretty rare that you see a train with two engines on it in, in, in uh, England. They design an engine to run both ways and to have enough power to pull the train. And they have short... Uh, yeah, very Lotus. There you go. Uh, and they have short uh, trains. Like, the tra like, when you see a freight train in England, it's like 7 to 10 cars long. They're not... They don't run two-mile-long trains like we do. So it's very different. The engines don't have to be very big. But, yeah, it's pretty rare that you see double-engine double, double engine lash ups They're, they're just not... I, the whole time I've been here, I've never seen two engines pulling a train. That's a very American thing. And in America, they definitely build the trains to the, hor like the horsepower requirements of the cargo. Go right outside the cab a little bit. Uh, we are 800 yards away, so we actually need to start prepping to stop. Um, whoa! That's a different camera view. Oh, I'm not in my seat. <laughs> Ooh. Drive the train, Arthur. I sure can. There's the front view. I can't... The camera won't get any closer than that. That's weird. We're just going to slowly drop off speed. I'll probably keep it around 15 for a little bit. Eh. 
Look at that little bridge. Ooh, duck your head. I'm going to power this up a little bit. I'm going to try to hold it 10 miles an hour here as we pull into the station. I didn't see any speed restrictions for 5, so we should be good. Yeah, very Lotus. All right. <gasps> Who's that, Elfie? Is that Mommy? Did you hear Mommy? Here she comes. <laughs> He's like, Mommy, Mommy, Mommy. Uh, yeah, he got a little spanky on the butt for that. Naughty dog. He's a little cheeky monkey. You have three rolls of toilet paper in the house, and he ate one of them. <laughs> uh, the whole roll. Whoa, I'm going to overshoot this one. Maybe. Uh, no, that was a good stop. We're good. We're safe. Perfect. Unlock the passengers. Let's see. We're going to be... Let's see. That's the left side, right? Oops. <laughs> Don't step onto the platform. <laughs> okay. There we go. <laughs> Whoops. I'm going to make some coffee. I'll be right back, folks. Ooh, turn that off. I'll get a copyright slammed. Slow down. Get that speed down. We're doing okay. We're still a quite a distance away from the slow down location. 
There we go, D707. Okay, back, brakes on again. Actually, we could use the, I also use this brake. This will break the engine, like it'll put the brakes on the engine. Um, and that's not working at all, so you still need to get the speed down more, so come on. I don't have to put the brake on for seriousness now. Class 35 high mech. Oh, interesting. There we go. And it's going to stop all the way. Don't do that. Stop. <laughs> Ugh. This train. Why is the straight brake still on? There we go. Now we're gaining some speed again. I am terrible at stopping. This is one of those things I, you know, if they would make a rail driver for this thing. Now, Jeremy was talking about uh, in the last, when we were playing the, the winter resort simulator, he was talking about a train simulator. It's called the rail driver. What did we use that in Earlier tonight. I played. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's actually not bad. I kind of get sucked in. You have to get really high pitch. <laughs> not bad. Oh, wait. No. Stop. Slow down. How long have you been streaming? Uh, streamed an hour of that and half an hour of this so far. Jeez, man. We're both real. I tried. No, you did not. I did. Oh, yes, I did. No. Mm. German train ate it. Yeah, this is before. Hey, at least we don't have to, sh to, to shift on this one. Uh, this is one of those throttle, you know, <laughs> some of the older British trains, you actually had gears. So you had to, you know, you'd put it in first and then give it gas and then put it, in, you know, turn it off and then put it in second. And so we're going to be stuck at 10 until we pass that sign. Um, so when the back of the train goes past that 25 mile an hour restriction, it'd be 10 miles an hour. Yeah, it's like a train console. Isn't that thing cool? Uh, if you could buy, if you could still get those, I would love that. Um, they're really expensive, like four hundred dollars. They should work with Train Sim World though, because most of the buttons are the same on Train Sim World as they are uh, on the rail driver. But I think it's like four hundred bucks. I don't even know if you can get it anymore because it's it, it. Like I said, it was produced for the Microsoft Train Sim, and that was how many years ago? Fifteen years ago? Twenty years ago? Um, and, you know, the train, Microsoft Train Simulator actually had a huge following, and then they just dumped it, and it took them about, I want to say, we had the game Trains, and then this game, I think they used to call it Railmaster, uh, or Rail, Rail Driver, I'm sorry, Railmaster was the controller, Rail Driver was the program, and then they turned it into Train Simulator. They actually were able to get the licensing from Microsoft to call it Train Simulator. And I didn't want to go full. I wanted to go off. Oops. <laughs> Slow down. So once again, it went Microsoft Train Simulator. Then uh, Kuju sold the rights to the company, to this company. Uh, and they made Train Sim. They called it Rail, Rail Driver or Rail, Rail Simulator. There we go. Rail Simulator. That's what it was called. And then, uh, but it took like 10 years to make that transition. So for a long time, the Microsoft Train Simulator was the only train sim on the market aside from trains with a Z. Uh, and it was really the only actual simulator um, on the market. So they had a lot, there was a lot of uh, DLCs. And this is back in the day before the internet was like super heavily used so you you would go on to the internet to, to like maple leaf tracks or i'm trying to remember the other company 3d 3d train stuff and you would um order um you would get the the discs of the route so you'd buy like cajun pass and it would come to you on a disc <laughs> and so i have all the, at home i have all of these discs from 3d train stuff and uh, maple leaf tracks they had you know the lsi they had uh, Kicking Horse Pass for in Canada. They had the Tehachapi, which is in the original Train Sim 2020. Uh, the Tehachapi Loop, uh, Cajun Pass. Those are all from Maple Leaf Tracks, and those are actually in now in Train Simulator 2020. 
So um, now there is uh, this, uh, you know, train sim world, but they're not bringing over the routes from Microsoft Train Sim. But a lot of the routes from Microsoft Train Sim made it into Train Sim 2020. You can still buy them now. So like a couple years ago, I bought Marius Pass, and that's a Microsoft Train Sim uh, route. But they've tran they translated it over to Train Sim 2020. So. Moni's going to play Hunter. I'm going to do one more train trip after we're done with this one, and then Moni's going to take over the stream. She's going to do some hunting. Yeah, Trains was not a simulator. It was uh, almost like a toy train game. Uh, you'd build a layout, and then you could drive around on that layout. Um, and it was, yeah, it was kind of buggy. I liked it, though. Trains was fun. I mean, it was a, it was a good, it was the only alternative to Train Simulator. So, uh, but I love the old train simulator. It was buggy as heck. I mean, the Microsoft train simulator crashed all the time. It was not known for stability. Wow, this station's like right here. Hey, it's Loftus. Just kidding. Watch it. Don't stop. Don't stop. No, no, no. Throw the brake. Throw it on. Throw the throttle on. Full throttle. Don't stop. We're not there yet. I don't know, Binpin. She's here, though. I'm sure she'll tell you what she's going to do. There's the 10 thing. Oh, it says whistle. This is why you prefer freight ops, because, yeah, you only have to stop once. Right. Okay. Breaks on again. Might have overshot it just a hair. Yeah, it's okay, though, because the the engine's off the platform, but all the cars are on the platform. That's what we got to worry about. That wasn't bad, actually. I'll tell you what, I'm starting to get the hang of it. Usually I overshoot the station. So uh, tonight I have not overshot once, and we're close to schedule, 1753. What is our schedule like? We needed to be here at 1747. Oh, man, there's a lot more. But This might be all we do, actually, guys. I didn't realize how long of a of a scenario this is. So I think I'll finish this up and then Moni will take over. But we still have, I'm, a, I'm ahead of schedule actually, right? 1747 and it's 1750. No, I'm behind schedule. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> it's as good as it gets. We'll finish out this route. And then it'll be time for Moni to stream. Well, I was trying to see what you were saying. Oh, Steve got his guitar. Oh, that's cool. Uh, ep Epiphone. Sweet. Not Epiphone. What do you call it? It's a Squire, but it's a... Or whatever brand. But it is a uh, SG. That's what I was trying to say. 250 for the rail drive. Now, does it work with... Uh, does it work with Train Sim World? We have now. Moni and I have a cooking simulator. I think Moni, you you took it, right? Honey, you use that. Well, the cooking simulator. Yeah. It it's pretty rough. It's not the Gordon Ramsay one though, is it? No. It's pretty funny though. It's it's fun, but you, it's really easy to break plates. <laughs> so they still make the rail driver. That is really cool. <laughs> That's so funny how elaborate your swearing is. <laughs> uh, that would be like me in the kitchen usually. Actually, my breakfast, I'm, I've gotten the breakfast thing down, and I can grill like a champ, but the, uh, oh, this is 11 miles an hour. Slow down, Artie. But the uh, cooking portion, like where you actually bake stuff, a little rough on that end of things. Thankfully, Moni's actually pretty good at it. She, uh... She made us, uh, really the first big meal she's made for us was the Christmas dinner, and man, was it good. Holy cow. But no mention of Train Sim World. Well, if it supports Train Sim, it probably supports Train Sim World. No, don't go full throttle. Don't. Mouse controls. 
It would be nice, though. Now, the downside is it's really set up. The big thing on that would be the brake and the uh, throttle. I'm not sure how they do it, but it'd be, that'd be awesome. The earlier versions of trains were, but they've gone away from the field. Yeah. <laughs> there is on Steam um, a model train simulator, I believe. I could be wrong about that, but I believe there is one. Wow, this is pretty right here, the curves. we got another station coming right up here. Looks like we're on the coast again. Is that the beach? Yep, look at that. There's the beach and the ocean. Four murders since Christmas in the area? Yikes. Welcome to Red Car, murder capital of the world. Donna Ford Beach. Okay. Oh, so you know the area. That's cool. All right. So what part of England is this? does this take place in, Red Alpha? Oh, yeah. Donna Ford Beach. Look, Donna Ford. Stop at Donna Ford. That's cool. Uh, TS, I mean, TSW isn't really... Oh, a 15-mile-an-hour restriction. Oops. Isn't really a new game. I mean, it's... Technically, it's newer, but it's two years old now. I mean, it's not like it's it's been around for a while. West Coast, okay, so. That makes sense, by Somerset. <laughs> yeah, it's called Somerset. The name of the route is the Somerset route. I should have put two and two together. <laughs> Oh, good. Did you expect this to come back? I hope you apologize. No, I didn't apologize. He was fine. This is Train Sim World, is what this game is called. There's Train Sim 2020, and then Train Sim World 2020. Train Sim World 2020 has been out for about two years. Um, it originally didn't have the 2020 in front of it, but uh, they, they just add 2020. They'll call it 2021 next year. It'll be the same game. Uh, they keep adding to it, obviously. Um, but it's based on it. They basically took Train Sim, the original Train Sim, and they gave it a whole new graphics engine. because, And they built it from the ground up because they wanted to be able to do more realistic g graphics and, and better engine. And they were having the original Train Sim, which is still sold now. You can still buy Train Sim 2020. Um, now, you better, you better jump, yeah. yeah. I still think that well, the old one has a lot more content. Um, but you can still buy the old train sim, um, and uh, it's built on the Unreal Engine. There we go. But the old train sim, what I'm trying to get out here, blah, 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 the old train sim version, train sim 2020, not train sim world, but train sim 2020, is still based underneath on the Microsoft slash Kuju train engine from like 19... 99 or 2002 or whenever the original train sim came out from Microsoft they kept that engine and used it all these years train sim world is built on the unreal engine it is they departed from the Microsoft slash Kuju engine and used unreal to build this version of the game so it's a new version of the game and it's much better than the original Train Sim 2020, but there's not nearly as much content, and the routes are a lot shorter. Man, that looks just like England. Yep. Look at that, the church and the town and everything. You why that is? <laughs> why? Because it is England. Oh, you don't say. <laughs> All right, we're going to lock the doors. But yeah, this, was, this is Train Sim World uh, 2020, and it is a really great game if I you like Train you Sims. Oh, yeah. I've had, I bought this years ago. I got it right when it came out. Okay, I got it a year ago. Picky. Yeah, there's no mods for Train Sim World. And once again, it's probably because it's all built on a new engine. So the developers, you know, they they're, they have a harder time developing for it. And they're just not going to do it. So, But the original Train Sim 2020, which has crappy graphics but good base engine, um, does have a lot of content for it. So... <laughs> uh, thanks, Wifey Poo, for making fun of me once again. <laughs> the well, you, are, you come out with stupid statements, and I'm going to take you out. 
All right, fine. Oh, it looks like Nathan. No. No. Really? I'm just. I meant it like this is iconic. Like when you drive around, like when we drive around here, uh, in the area that we're in, this is what it looks like. You got hills and you got churches. Everywhere you look, there's a town, a church, and hills. And then farmland. You know what, in the olden days, every village had one in Glendale. Yep. Get a little more throttle going there. Pick up some speed. I know, it's relaxing. That's why I love this route. It might be a sleeper route, but it is, it's super relaxing. And it's gorgeous. It's just beautiful country that we're driving through. Which one are you looking for? There's a new one that's come out. It's um, like the West Coast. Um, oh, okay. What do I think for that? Are you talking about the, the sim we did earlier, Jeremy? I think a good price for that would be uh, like 15 bucks. It's such a specific simulator. I think asking at 30 bucks, they're going to have a hard time selling it because it really is very specific. You know what I mean? I don't think people are just going to be jumping all over that. So. How did it do? Oh, that's cool. Ivy works. Good old West Virginia. How did it do? What? The Good. Like view-wise? Same, like 30, 25, 30. Wasn't bad. I like it. It's just it's a little chunky. Yeah. It doesn't run smoothly when I'm recording, which, of course, is the laptop's fault. But, yeah, about half off, Jer. That's what, that's what I think it should be at. But. I mean, you could have always made it on my computer. You're cute. You're cute. All right, so we got some reds going on here. I'm not sure. I think we are allowed to proceed, I believe. Your destination is less than the red zone. Yes, you can continue. Yeah, but there's a red right here. Yeah, but that's not one that's been hit yet. That's this one. Okay. I'm wondering if that's for the train, the train over to the right. Like, is this the end of the line here? Got a lot of a lot of action going on. <laughs> Thanks, IB Works. Well, we've been doing it for some time. We're not going anywhere. And I've got my own channel. Yeah, Moni has her own channel. Once we uh, once I'm done here, she's gonna play the hunter with uh, Binpin and Jaywa maybe, and uh, I may join in. Will join in. I will join in. <laughs> I have no choice. You will play hunter. I will be heading to the bathroom though first because it's been a couple hours. <laughs> oh, you need to do a yeah, I do. I need to do poo poo. Sixty-three odds we're in Wilton. Someone just got the look. <laughs> I've got the look. No, don't stop yet. No, 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 no. I know, but I want, I'm a professional train driver. I must stop exactly, precisely. This is England, after all. Still it's all about precision. Still stop. Yeah, I did. See, look. Oh, perfect. Yeah, you missed it. I didn't miss it. Look where I'm at. This is the exact perfect spot where I'm supposed I'm to be. Four yards off. Four yards off. Yeah. You woke up in a mood. I know. I saw that. I'm actually hanging off the other end. Yeah. I'm trying to earn my white gloves. <laughs> I farted. I know. I wish I had pants. Go right side, huh? Make everybody jump off the deck. Sorry, guys, the left side's not working. You'll have to get off onto the tracks. I know it's not safe, but you'll be okay. <laughs> What'd you say? 
open the wrong side door? Really, I did, and it didn't do anything. Yeah, I did. But I didn't at the time. Four speed ahead. Oops, that was too much throttle. I think like two more. Yeah, right. Hop. I'm go we're going. Hop in. Driving significantly over speed. What? Why am I going there? I don't <laughs> And how long have you been recording for? Yes, Fleet is going to stream Canadian James. She's going to be doing Hunter. I will be joining her uh, in the background anyway. And uh, we'll be doing some... Ah, we'll be going on Discord, so you'll be able to hear me double. What's the matter, honey? Oh, wow. You recorded a lot. I don't know. You said do a burnout. <laughs> a steal out. <laughs> Trains do actually do that. I don't know if you've ever seen a steam locomotive do a, a quote-unquote burnout. What do they call that? Uh, well, it's slipping, obviously, but... They have a name. The breaking loose, that's what they call that. When a steam engine breaks loose and you see it go like... <laughs> those big boys and stuff, they were, you know, they would break loose occasionally. Yeah. Especially on a steam engine because of all those big moving parts. <laughs> it hammers the track when that happens. Because you got all that weight coming down. They got big counterweights and stuff, and it's like wham, wham, wham. It hammers the track. All right. It is a slow. <laughs> I just love this route. It's so pretty. All right, so we can go up. You're a car guy at heart? <laughs> now, if you could have a dream car, uh, IB Works, what kind of car would you have? That's a seriously cool engine. British engines are so cool that they can go both ways. I mean, like they, the you know, bi-directional. It's pretty cool. It's just neat and very different from what we have in the U.S. And I like them. Well, the next stop is 5.2 miles away. Wow, I don't think we're gonna make it in time. Nine minutes. We got five minutes to get there. Mm. Well, that just means crank it up a notch. What car wouldn't you have? <laughs> ah, yes, Heritage Route, 25 miles an hour on the president. On the, that's correct, Osa. Hey, Derek, thank you for the 13 months of subscription. Good to see you, about, by the way. Uh, R33, yeah. Yeah, I like the Skyline. It's a very popular, like, everybody wants car. What, honey? <laughs> Yeah, this is a beautiful route. Driving under the speed limit, plus 30 AP. They like it when you drive under the speed limit. Let me ask my viewers, let's see if they can, if how well my viewers know me. What is my dream car? You can't answer, Babs, because you already know. Why don't you answer for them? But what specific one? Going back uphill. Oh, that's so cool. Jeremy got it right. Yep. Now let's see. Let's do one better. Uh, so ni Porsche 911. That's right. <laughs> Honda Del Sol. Actually, those are hard to find. They have them here. I've seen a couple here in England. 
They must have sold them longer here than they do here, but Fiat, no thank you. Um, I can't fit in the Miata, so it's too small. Um, I do like Miatas, though. But, uh, yep, so which one can, I was going to say, who who can name what year Miata, or what, what years approximately of the Porsches I would want if I want to get a Porsche 911? What would be an acceptable date range for my Porsche? Can anyone guess that? Can anyone guess that? See, my viewers know. I actually have a, uh, a right sitting next to me here on my desk here in England. I have my uh, my Playmobil Porsche 911, which is really cool. Nope, nope, nope. Too late. That's a, that's a water or air uh, water cooled. I like the air cooled Porsches, so I just gave it away. Yeah, 86, that's right. 70. I would say anything from 1970 to 1986, 87, at the latest, like 88, 89, before they changed body styles. My dream Porsche is right in there. <coughs> Bless you. <coughs> yeah, 87 would be good. 77 would be good. Both of those are great answers. Uh, I like a Targa. We'd love a Porsche 911 Targa. Nah, the GT2 RS. I don't. See, I don't like modern sport. I don't like modern ones. I. 982. Yeah, that'd be right. Real Alpha. Yep. I like the old Porsches. Give me a just an old, old fashioned manual transmission. None of these. Fla none of those flappy paddle crap. However, the new ones like the GT. Uh, yeah, like the GT2 RS. Th they're awesome. Amazing cars. Uh, I just prefer the 911. I don't want a car that's so fast that I can't take it anywhere without getting in trouble. You know what I mean? Like these, some of these, you know, high-end Porsches are just trouble. I do. I love a nine, not 944s. Um, my son actually has a, a, uh, a 1980 RX-7, which we've talked about before on the channel, which is kind of like a, it was a wannabe Porsche. It was a Japanese 944 wannabe, <clears throat> and it's a great car. I mean, it's so cool. It handles well, and it's just balanced really well. And uh, but yeah, I love the nine, the old nine forty fours. Yep. But I'd rather have a nine eleven. That's right, a VW bug. Yeah, convertible would be fine. Uh, man, I saw one. Oh no, I'd I'd, I'd, I'd like a convertible. <laughs> yeah, well, hey, you know what, IB Works. If you have a Twitch, if you have Twitch, you can always sub for free. Because if you have a, if you I'm not Twitch. If you have uh, Amazon, you can use your Amazon. Uh, uh, you get you get one free subscription every month with Amazon. You can subscribe for free. I always tell people that, like, hey, if you want to subscribe, <laughs> but don't want to pay, you can always use Amazon. A lot of people do it that way. Um, yeah, the FC. Yep. But yeah, manuals. The flappy paddles don't do anything for me. But that's how cars are going nowadays. It's it's hard to get a sports car with because they're faster. I mean, the flappy paddle is faster than a manual gearbox. It just is. But I'd still rather have a uh, manual gearbox. It's funny being over here in England, like, you know, we've talked about this before. Everything is, is manual. They don't, they really, you almost never see a car that has an automatic transmission. And I, I've, I feel very comfortable driving manual transmission now because I've been doing it so much. Uh, yeah, the M3s, yep. What year is the E30? Let's see, I'm going to check and see how we're... No, don't unlock the doors. Don't open the doors while you're moving. Looks like three more. 91? No, it looks like three more. Yep, you used to get stick on the run. It's more about... Um, that didn't even bother me, Osa. Uh, honestly, um, I, I think the hard part for me was getting used to... Uh, um, just how congested everything is. Um, <laughs> life complete, right? <laughs> uh, hey, S10 Sleeper, good to see ya. There you go. Oh, that's awesome. This is the SI comes with just a manual transmission. I love that. Yeah, I love driving manual. Like I said, my son's RX-7 is manual. I love driving that car. He's got all of his cars are manual. He's got a uh, Kia with a six-speed, but he's trading that in. He's gonna uh, custom order uh, Civic with a. 
but he can't get an SI. He's kind of like he's bummed because he's a, uh, a private investigator on the side. Like he full time, he does computer work, but he also he also works as a private investigator. And you can't have cars that stand out. So he can't. You know, he would love to get an SI, uh, but he can't get it because it stands out. Um, he can get a regular Civic because lots of people have them, but he can't get an SI. He could get a Corolla, but he can't get an IM. Um, so he just there's some serious restrictions on what he can and can't get. So yeah, but even if it's gray, the problem is it's still it's got the badging and stuff. It, that people notice those cars. So I guess I'm not stopping at the station. They don't have any markers or anything, so. <laughs> I've never done that. But then again, I don't, I didn't drive. See, here's the thing, so you drove stick your whole life. Uh, I've driven manual transmissions on and off over my lifetime, but just for short periods of time, never for, never for, like, uh, tons of time. We need to start slowing down here. We got a 20. So... Yeah, see, he wouldn't be able to do an <laughs> he couldn't do an RS either. <laughs> Once again, it has the badges and stuff on it that make it stand out. So, yeah, regular people typically don't, but you just have to be really careful. So he's looking at you know, you know, Corolla, Camry, Civic, Forte, um, Optima, you know, just a just a just a run of the mill sedan. Uh, but he wants to get, he's still getting stick shift. He's like, I'm, I will not get a manual train or an automatic transmission, so. Oh, that's cool, Osa. Yeah, I love driving stick. I'll miss it when I get home. I love my car, but I, I, I will miss driving stick shift. Simone's, Simone's mom's car is, uh, it's a little Suzuki, uh, Grand Vitara with the stick shift. It's got such an easy clutch. It's the easiest clutch I've ever used in my life. That's. I'll tell him that. I'll let him know that you can get an RS or the the uh, the SI with the. See if they can get a badgeless version. You said go faster. I can't. It's twenty coming up. This route is not about speed. It's about relaxation and enjoyment. We're taking people there on vacation, going to the beach. It is crazy. Now, why do they do that preservation speed? Does that, I mean, obviously it makes the tracks last a little bit longer, but you'd think it'd be okay to run a little faster. There you go, Big Ron. <laughs> Since you were 12, what? <laughs> Well, I know I'll get I, I over slowed down, but not twenty till you got to stop. <laughs> oh, I see what you're saying. It's not twenty till I have to stop. Eh, all right, fine. There you go, Chevy SS. You'd have to hand rebadge it. Oh, I see, Osa. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, the brakes are off, but I I see what you're saying. So I don't have to... I, I got another mile. I thought that it's coming right up. Usually they give you the restriction right before you hit it, not two miles out, but... Yeah, the brakes are off, so we can pick up speed. Fine. I'll go faster. We're, we're, we're in no rush. Of course, I'm supposed to be in Crow... Crocom Heathfield at 8.15 it is, it is now 8.20 so that's not going to happen at 14 <laughs> oh man I didn't start driving until I was 15 and a half which in Ohio is legal age for temporary per permit I got my temp when I turned 15 and a half like the day I turned 15 and a half I got my temps and drove every day since. Oh, I love the old El Caminos. My, my uncle used to have that. He had an old, like, 70s El Camino. Man, was it nice. Uh, 
back that off a little bit to about the 40s. Yeah, it goes by <laughs> quick at 60, right? Oh, that's a cool area over there. That was neat. This area kind of looks like Ohio. <laughs> or Michigan. But just not the hills, except for southern Ohio. Wouldn't mind a Mini Cooper? Yeah. I'd like an old Mini, like an original Mini Cooper. Like a like a 70s one, once again. <laughs> you like the tractor? That's the only emote that I have. I should probably add more eventually, but... I need to make more. Twenty-five still. Yep. What is the W? Does that mean whistle the twenty or twenty-five? Okay, so Lexington, you're an hour south of the Ohio border, right? Sorry, my wife yawned and it made me yawn and stretch. It's all your fault, Babs. Oh, it was a whistle. Yep. Drive a steam engine course there too. Oh, that's cool. Oh, they go so they go here. That's cool, Osa. Okay, so the the line side W means whistle. Okay, so I did right when I blew my whistle. Come on, throttle up. Ah, before foot crossing. Okay, so people know that you're going to run them over. Now, what does SW mean? Pants. And there's a foot crossing. <laughs> you learn new things every day. Think, think, thankfully, you short whistle. Oh, okay. So I did the opposite. I did a long whistle and a short whistle, and both of them were in the wrong place. Oh, well. <laughs> I've been through, through Lexington a couple times. Uh, had dinner there one time. Um, one time on my way to Atlanta. Um, I'm trying to think of the other time I was there was doing work, computer work, but we were working in uh, Nashville. So we drove through Lexington on the way down. And through Covington and Cincinnati. Stop. Stop. Oh, whoa. We'll still stop in time. We're fine. I hope. Wow, this station is not very busy. Increase the brakes a little bit and pull them now because we're going to stop before we get to the end. No stopping all the way. Look at that. Precision, my friends. Precision. What do you think, Babs? I'm a dweeb? I haven't heard that word since the 80s. She just called me a dweeb. Well, that's not very rad. <laughs> Ten minutes late. Precision, my friends. Oh, no, don't stop. Oh, well, okay, fine. Stop. Initial application. That's great. All right, and then we're going to go to our tab key, and we're going to unlock left. There we go. Yeah. Side-by-side -side signal indicates which branch you take at the switch. Okay. <laughs> You're fired. I can't do Trump voice. I could do could do uh, George George W. Bush. He's got the same accent as Arthur Morgan. It's just the higher. It's a Texas accent. <laughs> My name's Arthur, Arthur Morgan. Actually, it's Arthur Chapman. But my rear car is not on the platform, and I don't want to look. See, 
we did not stop. We stopped wait. Well, it's pretty on. It's half of it's on the platform. Wait, is it the three key? No. What's what's the key for the back? The arse end. Yeah, that's not there. But alas, it's time to move. We're late. We need to keep going. And we're gonna go ahead and put the throttle up and hold the brake off. <laughs> Propane salesman. What about Micah? So, and Micah. Mr. Micah, are you still here? I don't think Mr. Micah's here anymore. It was so nice to see Mr. Micah. I miss Mr. Micah. We'll get him back on again. He is quite the personality, is he not? Alfie, your little tail. Alfie the puppy. So this has been quite the journey. The sun's going down. The one problem that I have with this game is the headlights don't seem to really light up anything. Now, this engine only has like one little tiny headlight, uh, so that could be part of the problem. Oh, there it is. What? Okay, you press two twice, so we'll never know. But look at how little look how look how little the headlight is on the front of this train. That's like, did they not run during it during night? A statue of Pacha. Yep. We'll get we'll get back to Estancia La Pacha one of these days. Yeah, we will. What do you mean no we won't? We need to do some we need to give some support to the boys, the boys at Stara. Because I haven't done anything with Stara equipment in any of my Well, I have my Stara uh in the class farm I have the Stara um Reboke Ninja for unloading the, the uh, like the grain cart, but High intensity headlight. Okay. Is Astancha? Oh yeah, it came out like right when the game was released. It's been out forever. Oh, I must be going downhill because I'm like 20 miles an hour over speed limit. Whoops. Slow down. The volunteers will not be pleased. Yeah, we slowed down by the corner, so we're okay. Don't you gotta, you don't want to go around the corner that those. Hey, what's up, G Dog? Thank you for the sub. That's right. This once again, 25 mile an hour, 2.5 miles an hour, green. Was that? A, did I get points for driving significantly over speed? Oh, come on. Or were they negative points? We're going to keep the brake at about 50% here. Get them nice and hot. They'll start squealing. They don't squeal in the game, unfortunately. There's no real life squeal. Oh, there's a tractor out there in the field. Look at that. Can't tell what make that is, but... Eh, it's looking like a uh, case, maybe? I don't know. It's, it's white. Oh, TSW did away with the negative points. To reflect the snowflake culture. Snowflake, snowflake. That's funny. You said remember that meme. Well, I'm 10 minutes late. 1827. Well, yeah, we're still 2.5 miles away. We're going to be late. Okay, take the brake off all the way now because we're starting to go under speed. There we go. Now we're picking up speed again, so we are going downhill here. So once again, folks, this is the Somerset DLC for Train Sim World. And it is a very relaxing route. Uh, as Osa has pointed out, it is a heritage uh route so you get uh, it, you have a 25 mile an hour speed limit because it is only maintained by volunteers not by professionally licensed train workers so well that's true that's true it does make it tolerable it is annoying when you get a negative 300 yeah I've gotten those before 
a job at Southern Rail. It'd be interesting to be a train. They make a lot of money. Um, oh, this is the longest heritage line in the UK. Oh, interesting. Okay, I didn't know that. It is quite a run. Just let it roll and you'll be on time. <laughs> I am still going about three or four miles an hour over speed, but... Um, It takes a long time to to become to earn a lot of money as a train driver, but once you get past you know once you get your seniority, I think it takes like five years. Um, they make a hundred thousand plus, you know. They make a lot of money. Uh, not a lot of room for errors though. You make one or two mistakes and you're out. So they don't they don't you know if you you have to stop. My my friend's mom, believe it or not, was a train engineer for Norfolk Southern, and. Um, you know, he was saying, like, if she has to stop within, like, a five-foot area, uh, the trains have to be precisely stopped, and they have to be, you know, parked in the exact spots. He's like, and you get one chance. Like, if you go over that spot two or three times, they fire you. There's no – it has to be precise all the time, so you have to make sure you're exactly where you're supposed to be. Uh, and that's for safety reasons. It makes sense that they do that, but it is uh, – Because obviously, when two trains collide, it's serious mess. And a lot of times, serious injury. There was one video I saw online, and man, it was a. You're riding on a train, and he goes, you see up the head, uh, he has a green, and there's a train. You can see it in the siding over to the right. And all of a sudden, you see his light go yellow, and then you see his light go red. It's like green, yellow, red, like bing, bing, bing. <laughs> and what happened was the oncoming train didn't stop at the stop. He pulled right through the light. And, man, they hit, and it was like, bam! And I, pieces went flying over. You see guys on the other train as they're coming at each other. You can see guys jumping off the engine, running out, running off into the field, uh, knowing what's coming. Uh, nobody died, believe it or not, but it was the, like the train that hit. He was going about 55 miles an hour when he hit the other train. Uh, and it was the other engineer's fault because he did, once again he didn't stop at the um, he didn't stop where he was supposed to. So oh my gosh, he was suspended. G dog, thank you so much for the uh, for all the cheer. You just took first place for the week, and it looks like you're going to win because we only have tomorrow night left in the week. Though I think are we streaming over the weekend this weekend, honey? So yeah, we'll be streaming this weekend too. So. We're pretty much going on a seven-day schedule now. Um, we're going to try. We might miss one here and there, but um, but we are going to be, be streaming pretty much every night. So we'll try. Yeah, weekends will be shorter, obviously, you know, because we need to spend time with the kids and stuff. But once the kids go to bed, we're okay. Oh, we might start the yeah. Yeah. More break. More break. So thank you guys for being patient as we get the schedule set up. Uh, it's been kind of a struggle with us trying to figure out what works best for our family and stuff, especially now once Grandma broke her foot and no longer could drive the kids and I ended up having to drive everybody everywhere all the time. Um, yeah. It really messed things up as far as our plans. So, well, I know it's annoying, but it's, it is what it is. I mean, we... Yeah, true, you're always in con contact with control. Right, exactly. Um, and so... Uh, Anyway, uh, the, re the YouTube recording schedule will be picking up again once th the kids go back to school on Monday. So then we'll have Moni and I will be up during the days, and I'll have time more time to record YouTube. <laughs> yes, I will be anyway. You won't be, baby. But uh, I'll, be, I'll have more time to record YouTube and stuff like that. So we'll get more videos on YouTube, and we're going to be streaming. <laughs> what? Oh, so you're going to sleep in every day? Oh. Well, I have to get up because i got to drive the kids to school. So her mom, you know, it changed it changed the weight of who was responsible for what, like when that happened. And it's okay. I mean, it's accidents happen, and you know, so. I don't think we'll be on Wednesday night. Yeah, next Wednesday we won't be on because we have something coming up on Thursday that we need to take care of. But we need to get the house in order. <gasps> That's not what I wanted. Don't stop! Don't stop! Don't stop! All right. There's one more station after this one. 
Yeah, I know. I know. I I missed it. I wasn't paying attention. And oh, we got a five mile an hour coming up here in 200 yards. But that's okay because we'll be stopped by then. Oh, well, this is a cool little station. <laughs> so we've come up from the seaside back, I think, inland. As we've moved away from the uh, the seaside area. Ooh, look at that little engine over there. You can drive that one, too. Um, yeah, OSA does. OSA's a simulator and a train fanatic like I am. But he knows more of the rules. And OSA always knows the rules and stuff for each type of thing, which is very helpful. I know I am lucky I, I pulled it back right away <laughs> I never let go of the mouse so I don't think it registered but yeah we're gonna stop too soon bishop head uh, all right we're gonna stop fine I didn't want to stop, but okay. Well, they were stopped, and go ahead and tab, and we're gonna. Was it the left platform? It was left, wasn't it? Oh, we're probably the entrance of. Yeah, there's the the yard over here. While we're loading the passengers, let's uh, we can jump up here and take a look. So this is the other engine that comes with this layout, layout with this route. <laughs> it's a cute little engine. Almost the same as the ones that you have with uh, the um, Saltburn route, the Teesside Valley. Actually, I think this is the same engine. Eh, it's a little different. But that's like the one in Teesside, isn't it, honey? No, it's different? Looks the same to me, but... Class 8, Gronk. They call it Gronk. Yeah, those are cute. Oh, you got spot, spotted jammies. Wait, was that it? Was that the last one? Oh, we did it. Oh, yeah, that's cool. It's got like little bumps. Um, all right, so we're going to switch over to Moni stream now. Go ahead and get started, babe. Are you, are you up? She's going to start streaming here in a second. Uh, so we did well. I went to level three. That was fun. I, you know what? I really, I forgot how much I love this this uh, train sim. So we ended ten minutes late, which isn't too bad. That's not you know unheard of for me. Uh, class forty seven. Okay. Yep. Yep. Oh, Alfie. Yeah, I saw the stop signal. Yep. <laughs> and that's why, because that's the end of the. I, I thought maybe we continue on into the yard, but no, that was it. Now there's a further stop, I think, further down. Uh, on that line, maybe, but that might be the end of the line. So, are you streaming now, babe? I am. Alfie just passed it, and it smells like. I know he's had really bad gas. It's bad, bad, bad. Yeah, well, I think he's got poo-poos. Okay. Well, he. Would you mind letting him off the poo-poos? He'll run away. I gotta go poo-poos too. Uh, all right, so we're gonna do like a slash, raid, fleet foot. Enter n. Entertainment. So, guys, I'm going to jump off now. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed that train trip. Uh, Moni's going to be streaming The Hunter now. Uh, I am going to go to the bathroom. And uh, <laughs> I'll be back on. I probably will join her on The Hunter also on Discord. And so I'll still be there. But, uh, once again, it's a little more adult. So if you are a young child and don't want to hear. Um, okay. <laughs> the last couple nights. I've been a little rough. Anyway, so but uh, have fun, guys, and we will see you there. I'm going to start the raid. So now's your opportunity to join the raid, and we'll jump over to her channel. And like I said, I'll meet you guys over there. So, um, and <laughs> you are so cute, honey. <coughs> so she's now streaming, and 30. Yeah, I'll take him poos. But he's been farting all night, and I took him out twice, and he didn't poos. Well, he seems he poos. All right. So anyway, I'm going to go potty, and I'll be back, guys. But here she is. Have a great night. Be sure to subscribe. Thank you so much for being a part of my channel, guys. I love you. Have fun. You can't tell people See you tomorrow night.